Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today I'm going to be creating some Copic Vacation backgrounds and doing that as speed art while I'm using some hex art class techniques. But I'm going to start by showing you the Sunny Studio Stamps Happy Camper first in real time so that you can see how to color that one. Campers are really fun to color. There's a friend of mine who's really into campers. Shout out to Sheila. And I thought this was a really cute little stamp set, little teeny tiny one with some fun sentiments that could be good for your summertime cards. So I'm going to show you the coloring of that. And I'm going to use some really basic colors for the reason that I want to do a couple of different backgrounds with this. Because when I think of campers, I think of going on trips. And when you think of going on trips, you think of all the places you'd like to go and see. And I thought it would be fun to do some cards with some backgrounds of places that I either want to go to or places that I've been. And that's what I'm going to talk about a little further in the video. I decided my basic color scheme, since this is going to be Americana type of scenes, will be red, white, and blue for the camper. And I'm going to create a little bit of dimension on it as well. But I got my basic colors down just so I can make sure I kind of get them spread out evenly across the page, that sort of thing. The windows you can see, you can create a little bit of glassy look by making some stripes in them and then I'll also soften that with some other color in a little bit. But now I'm going to start adding some dimension to things and I'm putting my, my darker gray color down so that I can smooth that out and make it look like metal by mixing it with a lighter gray. You can use any of the grays. I'm using the C's here, but you can use any of the T's, W's, N's, or C's to achieve the same kind of a look. That's one of the things about the grays. They don't really need to be used individually. You can use them together. You can use them separately. And if no one sees them next to each other, you, you, often you can't tell the difference between them. So now I'm going to add some shading. I added shading onto the front edge of the little awning that's coming out as well as now on the bottom of this shape here at the bottom of my camper. Now I don't know whether campers should actually be silver all over, but I decided mine was going to be red, white, and blue, or shall we say red, silver, and blue because it was fun, but you could also make one that's all silver so that your background really stands out as the only color on this. But what I decided to do is make my, my little camper nice and bright and happy and cheery. I'm going to use my favorite dark red on the top of the camper here and give that some shading as it comes up from the bottom. Put a little tiny bit underneath of the flowers so we have a little red flower box happening. Blend that out with my favorite mid-tone red, which is my R37. If you don't own those two markers yet and you color anything red, go shopping right now and get them because they, they work with all of the light red colors very, very well. So I colored a couple of these because I, I stamped several of them in the same layout and I'm going to make the same sign over here on the right hand side. So I'm taking the, the sign uh, text, the sentiment that I've stamped here, and just made some scribbles across it to make a wooden board and then I'll give it a pole. Now I'm making my pole go off the page at the bottom because I want it to look like that sign is way out in the front and that the camper is way in the back because if I were to just make that, that signage kind of at the bottom of where the camper is, it's not going to really look like it's in any kind of normal proportion. It's going to look like a giant, giant billboard. So I thought I'd make it look like it's in the front and then everything else is in the back and I'm using my Copic Multiliner to go over the edges because I'm going to continue making scenes behind it. If you're going to just add your black lines after you're done, you can use any black pen, but since I'm going to touch that with some Copic marker, I'm using a black pen. Now this is the speed coloring, and here I'm doing Yosemite National Park. I did go there last year, and it would be nice to do places that you've been to and use some of your photographs to kind of create some scenes. These are not exact replicas of the mountains there, but it's close enough that if you've been to Yosemite, if you know anything about it, this is going to give you the feeling of that big valley with those giant mountains at the back. In all three of these speed backgrounds that I'm showing you, there are some techniques that are shown in the Hex Art class. The Hex Art class is over at art-classes.com and it is an advanced class. 
And even though lots of people might be able to create some of the little hexes that are in there as little teeny tiny techniques, it takes a lot to get to this level. But I wanted to be able to show you because a couple of people have asked me, well, what do I do with this? Now I have this beautiful hex art piece that I've created. How do I turn that into a scene? So I'm doing three scenes using a bunch of the techniques in the, the class and the real time videos are in an added bonus lesson at the end of class. So I've added another lesson over there. If you've taken the class, you automatically have access to that. So you can see them in real time with the color names and everything. There's no voiceovers in them, but they do have the colors on the screen and I do label what the techniques are. When it's pine trees, I label the pine trees. And uh, this one is using these, these rocks in the Southwest, but I'm using a technique for marble to create these rocks on the, the two sides. So I label things like that for you. I didn't have time to do voiceovers because it's a long, long, long video. I just put on some music so you can uh, just go listen or you can turn on your own music and just watch whatever you'd like to do. But I thought I'd put those in there to tell you kind of what you can do with the class and with the techniques that you learn in the class, all 42 of them. This does, these do not have all 42 techniques, by the way, but they just have a couple of them used in backgrounds so that you can see how to apply them. If you haven't taken that class yet, I definitely recommend you take the Copic Jumpstart class first because that one is your basics. That's going to teach you the basics about markers and everything. Something like this could be really daunting if you are new to it. So don't take the class just because you want to see these backgrounds. Go take the Jumpstart class first. But if you're ready to take this one, then in just a few minutes, I'm going to give you a coupon code so that you can go and take it if you've not been inspired to. I know it's an expensive class because there's 42 whole techniques in there. And yeah, it, it can seem like a lot of money for for something like this if you don't know that you're going to use it but i thought if i show you some cards in which i'm actually using the techniques and using them you know in in combination with each other to create different things then maybe that would inspire you to start making some backgrounds for your cards so i don't want you to feel daunted by it but i also want you to feel inspired that you can use these techniques and also remember that you can join over on the new Facebook group. I guess it's not really new by now. There's a Facebook group for students in my classes and it's for all students in one big Facebook group. And every month, at least for right now, <laughs> I'm, I'm giving away a 50% off the next class that you take prize once a month to somebody who shares their artwork in that group. It has to be artwork based on one of the classes. So tell us what class and what you learned from it and that sort of thing. But go join the group and join the conversation, comment on the work of others and add your own to it. And we'd love to see what you're learning, what you're trying and what's working for you. Okay. So if you are interested in taking the hex art class, the coupon code is happy camper. Since there's a camper in this, I thought that would be a really good name for the coupon code. And you can type that in all as one word at checkout to get 10% off of this class. It's only good on this class. All right. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you to go make some backgrounds on your cards because it's way fun to do. You guys know I love to do it. So I encourage you to try and I will see you guys again next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful, fabulous day. Thanks, bye.